great. Hey, guys, uh, in yesterday's webinar, I was uh, reviewing Bob Art and how you can load multiple images and then be able to combine them. So this is just a quick tip on how to do this again. So we're going to do, we're going to go to the Bob Art tab. We're going to right click on images. We'll say load image and we'll grab one of them. We're going to go to images, load image. We're going to grab another one. And then we're going to go to images, load image, and we'll grab, let's say, a third one. Okay, so we have three different images here. Okay, now what we're going to do is go to the layer manager and we're going to add a new layer group. Okay, and then we're going to add one, two, three layers. Okay, we're going to go to the first layer. We're going to put the checkbox on it. This is for the eagle. We're going to go here, vectorize, and we'll adjust the threshold. We'll say okay. So that's the first one. Then we're going to move this checkbox to the next layer, and then we're going to do the same thing for Florida. Okay, then we're going to move the checkbox to the next layer. We're going to do the same thing for iHeartUSA. All right. Okay. So there is our vectorization process. Now we're going to go to the first layer, and essentially we're going to window pick everything and then window pick the stuff in the middle and delete. So that's the first one. We'll go to the next one. I don't want to see these images anymore, so I'm going to just say blank all. All right, the next one, this looks fine. Uh, we'll go to the next one here, and we have all this stuff, so we're going to uh, window pick the stuff in the center, window pick everything to invert the selection, and then delete. Okay, so now we have three different graphics all in the same location. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to here, and uh, let's actually go to the CAD layer. All right, I'm going to draw an envelope to work in, so we're going to say 6 by, uh, let's say 8 by 8. 8 by 8, and we're going to say okay. All right, so now the first one I'm going to do is take the Florida, and I want to make this as big as possible, so we're going to do utilities translate. Uh, uh, let me cancel that. We'll window pick all of this, and we want to move it to zero. Okay. Um, once it's at zero, now we want to make it bigger. Okay, so I'm going to do a scale. All right, we're going to make it uh, something like that. Okay, so that's Florida. Uh, now what we're going to do is turn that one off and turn USA on. All right, this one... We want to make, again, smaller, so we're going to do Utilities Translate. We're going to Window Pick, and I just want to deselect these edges. And then I'm just going to move this one over to, let's say, this corner here. And then as far as the scale goes, we're going to say Scale, Scale from Center, 0.5. Um, I don't know, I actually want to bring this in a little bit smaller. That looks okay. All right, so that's that one. We have that one, and now we want to take the eagle head, and again, we want to combine that into the design. So we're going to make all those smaller. We're going to do a translate. We'll window pick and remove and remove. Uh, this one's going to go to center. Uh, maybe we make it a, a little bit bigger to begin with. Uh, we'll say OK and cancel. So now essentially we've moved all of these onto the same drawing, okay? <clears throat> so what I wanna do, or within the same area, so now what I wanna do again is move in position. So we're gonna go translate. And this time, you know, I wanna be able to just select the eagle, the invert selection tool may not be the best way to approach this. So I'm gonna do pick and match by layer and I'll just click on this one and that will select everything from there. And what I want to do is decide where I want to position it. So I'm going to move this, let's say, inside of Florida. We'll make it a little bit smaller so that it fits within that area. Uh, let's turn the snap grid off. All right, that looks better. We'll say OK. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to address this USA. Now there's like a double line here and I just want to use this as an engraving routine possibly. So I'm just going to select the outside lines and delete them. And then where it says I heart USA, again, we're going to move that inside of Florida. 
So we're going to do utilities translate. Uh, we're going to window pick all of our geometry. We're going to move this up over here. And then we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And we'll say OK. All right. And then let's see. So we have all three of them combined right now. So now what I want to do is I want to engrave these, right? So again, yesterday in yesterday's webinar, we talked about using CamTree templates. So we're going to come in here. We're going to say job from template. Um, we're going to pick the Bob Art uh, example and then choose OK. And what will happen is our stock from the previous job came in. So we're going to run the stock wizard and just hit calculate. Uh, it was based on wireframe in the previous example, so we'll go to rectangular and then calculate. All right, so there we can see our stock getting picked up. Uh, maybe this is a little bit thinner. Say OK on that. So we have our zero in stock set up. And then now, just like in yesterday's webinar, we can come in here and just select what we want to work with. We'll say OK and then compute. That does our engraving. Post, that's going to write our G code. So again, just a, another way to use Bob Art where you can load multiple images and at the same time and be able to vectorize them. Okay, you can use layered groups in order to separate everything out. But what's really nice about this is then you can minimize that group so that it's not uh, taking up a lot of space. All right, and then the other tools we talked about here today has to do with translate and scale, how you can make the images bigger or smaller. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Bob Art and working with images, make sure to watch the replay from yesterday's webinar. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.